Howdy folks, this is just a quick bonus video. We're gonna do a thing here. I'm gonna show you how to put one of the new nascent moons into your existing game if you want to do that. So we're just gonna call this new moon. Whoops, new moon. You want to use this seed right here, 589342. Um, you can use whatever seed you want. Um, I tried one before that and there wasn't a nascent moon in that seed. So who knows um, how many, how often they're going to appear. I assume you have a pretty good chance no matter what seed. But anyway, use that one. And so I'm going to let this load up. We're going to exit out of this game to the main menu. And then in your saves folder. So you want to go into Steam program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Imperion, saves games. And you want to go into that folder and you want to find the save that you just created. You're going to go into here and you're going to find your sectors yaml file and you're going to edit that and the first thing you're going to find is you're going to find the sodeb here we go sodeb moon so you want this line out of there from there so you want to copy that and then you're going to go into whichever save you have so that you want to add this moon into and we're gonna go to season 11, episode 47. And I'm gonna open up my sectors YAML file. Now I already did this. And so it should be in here. Let me see. On Clomer. No, I didn't do it yet. I did it on a copy of it just to make sure it would work. And so we're gonna do this. You know, this is a YAML file and doesn't allow tabs, blah, blah, blah. So you're gonna to wanna to change this to the name of whatever planet you want to put your moon around in your existing world. So we're going to do that. We're going to put it on Clomer. Remember, that's my lava planet thing. Okay. And we're going to do that in the sectors YAML file. We're going to save that. That's in my save. So I'm copying that line from the old, from the new one that we created to there. Now we have a Clomer moon and we need to go into, if I can find it again, <laughs> All right, so we're going to go back into our games again. We're going to go to New Moon, and we're going to go to Templates. And we're going to find the Sodeb Moon, as you recall. We're going to copy this whole folder. We're going to go back, and we're going to go into, this is episode 47. This is the one I'm moving it into. We're going to go back to Templates. We're going to copy it into here. And then we're going to rename it, because it's not Sodeb anymore, it's Clomer Moon. Now I suppose you probably could leave the name the same. And I think I already moved, yeah, I moved one there to test it before, yep. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna copy that one in. Let's see, we'll get rid of this old one. And we'll go like this, Clomer Moon. Clomer Moon Moon, Clomer Moon. Okay, so now we've copied the template and we've put the pointer into the sectors yaml file and so now when we load up our game season 11 episode 47 okay it's loaded up and there should be a moon out here there we go so there's the moon there's there's the planet clomer there's the clomer moon i'm not sure why it took on the lava texture there but as you see here we've got our regular moon and our regular planet and our moon and so if you look at here it's a nascent moon and so if we go back down there um, and that's what we're gonna do in episode 47 <laughs> but I wanted to, to show because I know people were gonna ask how you get uh, this new moon into your existing game without starting a brand new game and so that's how you do it but yeah I just wanted to show you that shortcut and in episode 47 we're actually gonna go to that moon and uh, we'll see you then Later.